We, we can talk further how that angle was done and everything if you want to. Well, I was going to ask you, yeah. what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think you, you talked about it at the one convention. You did the Q&A and yeah, everything. I, yeah, for, yeah. I, I, you know, I kayfade that, the secrets of that for a while. I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about it mm -hmm. now. But as I, before I go into that, I just want to say that following when they buried me in the concrete, that great, first, that great American bass, the first WWE American bass, that uh, they, I, can, I, got, I got paid, I got a check every week for the next year and a half up until this past few months when they signed me into a Legends contract and my regular talent contract ran out. But uh, the deal with the burying in concrete thing, that was, uh, what an experience that was. Because I get asked about that all the time, you know, how that, how was that done? Were you really buried in concrete? Yeah, <laughs> I was buried in concrete. You know, it, you know, you seen it on TV. It was a glass, glass was like that. It was a glass crib. It was a real concrete mixer, and it was mostly real concrete. But they did have oatmeal, some oatmeal mixed into it, to right. give it the texture and shit. You know, for t for television purposes. But it was basically real concrete, and and uh, we filmed that. We pre-taped that earlier in the day with me in, in the box and uh, I was sitting in the chair and in my right hand I had a button that I had to keep pressed down on my hand and if I ever let go of that button at any time they would come in with sledgehammers and bust the thing open and get me out. It was that dangerous. It, the button was hooked onto a light that was off, off the side of the set and if the, light, if the light came on they knew I had an emergency and they were going to come bust me out of it. All the, you know, it was pretty serious because that damn Concrete truck, you know, anything could have happened with that. It could have been a malfunction or anything. I was going to ask you, did anything go with your Owen Hart flashback? Yeah, they, yeah, like yeah, they, 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 yeah. Some, I was scared shitless. Did they give you an opportunity? I mean, did they give you a choice? Do you want to do this? Obviously, they probably. Yeah, 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 but hell, I wasn't going to say no. Huh. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I never said no. But Looking uh, back on it now, do you think it was smart to do that with, you know, knowing that accidents could happen? Well, thank God it didn't happen. All right. Maybe love but, of the business, that's why certain people do but it. But exactly how we did that is that, uh, like I said, we, we pre-taped it. And I took the concrete up to about here, right to, right to my nose. And that's where the pre-tape stopped. And then uh, they had this big suction machine, like a uh, machine that sucks out septic tanks and shit. Right. Come in, it was going to suck out the concrete out where I could get out. The damn thing wouldn't suck the concrete out. <laughs> so here I was stuck in an M concrete crib, and I swear I couldn't lift my legs. I couldn't lift my arms. It was so heavy on me. So the only way they got me out, they they just had to, they they put plastic on the floor, open the door, and let the shit pull out, pour out, and my fat ass went right on the floor with it. So what they done? They had a look-alike. Can you imagine a look-alike for me? Huh. But they brought in a look-alike from from Hollywood. He's a Hollywood Hollywood stunt man that's familiar with doing those kind of gimmicks. And uh, so during the live show, when you saw Paul Bear in, in the concrete crypt, it was the look-alike. It wasn't me. So when they showed the close-ups, it was what we pre-taped earlier in the day. Right. So it was the magic of television. I was already on the plane going back to Alabama. Did you get a bonus? With the actual show. <laughs> I got paid for another year and a half. You know? <laughs> right. Afterwards, I guess you could call that a bonus. Wow. But it was, uh, and, and Undertaker wasn't even there. For, for the pre-tape. All that was done, Undertaker's right. part was all done live with the look-alike. Right. Uh, it was just, you know, they cleared the building, nobody was in there and shit. But I understand a little fluke happened when they uploaded it to the satellite. And some people, uh, y'all hear about it sometimes, they'll take you pick up the satellite feed from WWF and right. somebody p picked up on the feed that they had sent to the satellite to go to Stanford. Huh. And uh, there was some stuff come out on the internet about it and stuff. But that's the true story. That, that, that's exactly how that happened.